Now it's not a super sunny time, so she's not as iridescent as she would be normally. This is my adult female olive python. Um, she's pretty good outside. She's usually more likely to bite you inside than outside, which is kind of the opposite of a lot of snakes. But when she's out here, she seems to be more focused on what's going on out here um, than necessarily food and me. When uh, she's inside, I am like target numero uno because I must be edible. Right? Right, Miss Lady? I don't know how big she is. I haven't actually measured her, which I should do at some point. Um, if I had to guess, she's probably in the nine to 10 foot range. Probably doesn't look it because they're not huge, heavy bodied snakes, but she's a good size. And she can be quick if she wants to be, but she's usually pretty confident. Um, I found, at least with my experience with olive pythons, they are a very confident species. Uh, I have not seen a lot of nervousness or, you know, not comfortable in new situations. They just seem to kind of go with the flow and do it. Um, you know, she's in a cage where I can see her pretty much unless she goes underneath her paper. And the only time she's ever gone underneath her paper is when she's in shed. Um, and she'll stay under there for three or four days while she's like real, real blue. And then uh, usually she's back out. We'll just move her more into the center of the yard here. But you can see some of the iridescence, I think, in this video. Um, I figured she'd be a cool one for this new thing. I don't know what the hell's going on. We have no traffic out here. Somebody's got like a car alarm or something. Go figure, because I'm trying to film. Um, but I figured she'd be a cool one, because she actually uh, really seems to enjoy coming out here and checking stuff out. And she's not a very active snake unless, you know, something catches her attention or you bring her outside. She pretty much just stays put in her cage. Uh, when I come into the room, she always comes right up to see what's going on, mostly because she just wants me to feed her. Um, but, you know, she's a very curious animal about her surroundings in general. She's got really cool eyes and a cool face. No, you can't eat my slippers. I'm sure you'd love to try. Very, very powerful species, uh, not to be underestimated just because she doesn't have that heavy bodied look of, you know, maybe a Burmese python or a rock python. Do not underestimate these snakes. They are powerful, impressively so. Uh, I've been wrapped by them a couple of times, so I can definitely confirm it's, it's some raw power. It's pretty impressive. I would not imagine a snake this size could possess the power that they have really quite crazy. I would say the only species that I've worked with personally that I think are stronger are rock pythons. Uh, I would, you know, obviously uh, a retic that's, you know, 18 feet is going to be stronger than this, this animal, but I'm talking comparable sizes. Um, I think rock pythons are probably the strongest snakes I've worked with, and these are probably number two. Um, a lot of people think berms are really strong. I think they're kind of flabby snakes. I don't really think they're as strong as, as a lot of stuff when it's pound for pound. I was reading a thing a while back online about uh, doing some strength tests, and I believe king snakes actually came up as, you know, a snake that they believe pound for pound is actually the strongest snake, which in a sense kind of seems weird because, you know, we all picture king snakes and picture some kind of small animal, but you think about what a king snake's job is, and it's to overpower other snake species. So it makes sense that they would have a lot of strength. Um, you know, you wouldn't expect them to be able to overpower a snake that's stronger than them, so they have to be that strong. So that was an interesting read. You know, I don't know exactly how they broke down the science, but uh, it was definitely interesting. And one of those things I would never think about if you asked me to list like top 10 strongest snakes, king snake wouldn't come to mind. But uh, 
apparently pound for pound they are up there but uh, like I said with these guys don't underestimate them uh, I would definitely recommend if you're not super experienced with these that you have help available uh, because they are strong they're fairly agile um, actually they're really agile I just find that they're one of those species that puts in exactly as much effort as they have to put into that kind of stuff so they do get very motivated around food but as far as like biting I found that they know exactly how much effort they need to put in to get you and they won't put in any more than that they won't exert any effort they don't have to uh, but with food they get pretty excitable uh, I've seen videos of snakes sitting up on ledges and racks and things and people throwing them food and them grabbing it out of the air. This girl, I could, if she's in her cage, she can be facing like she's facing right now. And I could throw a food item right here from behind her and she will grab it before it even hits the floor. It's pretty crazy. Like when she knows food is coming, even if she's not facing me, she's so in tune with what's going on around her. It's, it's crazy. She loves this little tree almost every time we come out here. She ends up trying to go in the tree and I end up stopping her because once she gets in the tree, it's a pain in the ass for me. But I'll cut this short. I'm going to hang out with her for a little while, get some pictures and stuff while I'm out here. Um, but I just thought this would be an interesting series to take over for the tip videos on occasion so I don't wear that out uh, while the weather's nice and I can get out here and hang out with some snakes. You know, just remind people this is what we have them for. You know, spend some time, observe them, see them doing some, some natural things and doing what they're supposed to be doing. You know, she's utilizing the space out here and she's looking for a space to hang out and this tree seems to draw her attention. So, you know, there's not really much in the way of trees over here in the yard. So this one she likes. A little bit of shelter in an area where she can overlook and see around her. And all right, we'll see you guys. I'm gonna go so I can grab her. Have a good one.